Thank you for watching this episode of Grape Tips presented by thegrape.com. Are you considering cooking with wine? Maybe you're not sure where to start. Maybe you're just in need of a little advice. Well, we'd like to help. Consider the following seven grape tips when cooking with red or white wine. Rule number one, cook with wines you'll drink, cook with the type of varietal of wine you'll be serving at your meal, and avoid using cooking wines. You wouldn't cook with cheap ingredients, so don't cook with cheap wine. Look for wines priced from 10 to $20 because they deliver the most bang for the buck. Tip number two, note the flavors found in the type of wine you're considering cooking with and look to add these flavors to dishes that contain these ingredients. For example, in red wine, you may find berries, cocoa, dark fruits, minerals, and various spices. In white wine, you may find stone fruits, butter, citrus, honey, and vanilla. Tip number three, match the food's boldness with the wine's boldness. Matching your food and wine's flavor boldness will allow them to complement each other. Why? Consider this. Boldly flavored foods will most likely overpower the flavors of lighter wine, while a boldly flavored wine will most likely overpower the flavors of a lightly flavored dish. Tip number four. When cooking with meat and wine, observe the following. White wine for light meat and red wine for dark meat. For example, Consider the following when cooking with wine and meat. Use red wine with beef, duck, game, goose, and pasta. Use white wine with chicken, ham, seafood, and turkey. Lamb and pork are unique because both work well with either white or red wine. Tip number five. Wine is great for basting, marinating, sauteing, and as a replacement for water when a recipe calls for it. Remember, when sautéing with wine, mix it with a little oil and make sure the wine does not boil or it will lose its flavor. Tip number six. Add sweet wines like port and sherry to dessert recipes. Whether in a cake or as a topping for ice cream, the sugars in sweeter wines will enhance your wine and dessert experience. Tip number seven. Experiment. This will only make you a better wine cook. Note the characteristics like the flavors, the sweetness, the acidity that's found in the wines you use and how they affect each dish you prepare. As always, we encourage you to have fun. Enjoy the process, learn from it and improve on it. There are few if any downsides to incorporating wine into more areas of your life, always in moderation of course. For more helpful tips like this, along with grape certified wine ratings, red and white wine reviews, and food and wine pairings, visit The Grape. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to wining with you at thegrape.com. Cheers!